and heroes. Heroes like Pram Than, who's saving lives by educating Cambodian women on the importance of family planning. Rahel Nardos from Ethiopia, who started a global women's health program through a rural hospital in her native Ethiopia and Oregon Health and Science University here in the US. Women like Grace Hopper, who developed the first compiler for a computing language and created one of the first modern computer languages, COBOL, during her time in the Navy. Ada Lovelace, the inventor of the first algorithm intended to be processed by a machine. Celebrities like Hedy Lamarr, who in addition to being an accomplished actress, invented frequency hopping, which today is used in every cell phone. Or Mary Bourne, my own personal hero, the first woman computer scientist I ever knew. All of these women are remarkable because of the many ways they touched lives and changed history. Not just women's history, but world's history. And they are all something a little unexpected. They are all geeks. <laughs> <laughs> that may sound sort of funny, calling all these worldly accomplished women from different walks of life geeks, but it's true. And now where I work, Google, calling someone a geek is a high compliment. <laughs> I'm a geek myself. I'm a computer scientist by training. I love to code on Linux, on web servers, and C++, JavaScript, and MySQL. I like to use spreadsheets when I cook. <laughs> and while I'm a geek, I'm not a hero. So you might wonder, how did a computer scientist and such a geek to boot end up here tonight? And the answer is the internet. The internet is changing almost everything. It's changing how we connect with each other. It enables opportunities. It even, thanks to Google, helps people access information in ways we couldn't have dreamed of not too many years ago. And most importantly, it's helping geeks like me all over the world find their voice and find their passion. And passion, to me, is what being a geek is really all about. My passion is for computers, but there are also fashion geeks, writing geeks, movie geeks, history geeks, music geeks, travel geeks, health geeks, and more. Basically, geeks are people who love something so much that all the details matter. And while passion is geek enabling, <laughs> passion, <laughs> it's true, passion is also gender neutralizing. I consider myself incredibly lucky to be present at a moment in time when this wonderful and powerful medium, the internet, is empowering geeks, and especially female geeks, to express and pursue their passions. So getting back to heroes and the importance of what the International Museum of Women is doing. Not all geeks are heroes, but it is important that some heroes be geeks of whatever variety. Because the value of heroes is in how they inspire people, especially young women. If young women can see heroes of all different types with different interests and different personalities, including geeks, they'll know they can succeed on their own terms by being who they are. Heroes who succeed by being themselves ultimately inspire us all. And a showcase, like the International Museum of Women, that can highlight a whole group of different role models and heroes is vital to making the world a better place. Not because people hearing the stories will be inspired to be like one of them, but because people hearing the stories will learn that passion and success come in all forms and sizes and that they can achieve it on their own terms, by being themselves and by doing it their way. Tonight, I'd like to thank my family, who have always encouraged and supported me to be my own authentic, geeky self. And my husband, Zach, who's here with me tonight and doesn't seem to, be, to mind very much being married to a geek. <laughs> and, and finally, thank you to the International Museum of Women for all of its efforts to help heroes tell their stories and for this wonderful award. I'm very proud and happy to accept it on behalf of women geeks everywhere. I'd like to dedicate this award to all the women in my life, heroes and geeks, who've touched and inspired me so personally. Thank you. Yeah.